This semi-truck is driving itself. Built by Packard's Peterbilt, the autonomous technology comes from Aurora. As it pulls onto the road and heads for the interstate, it's seeing the world around it digitally, detecting other vehicles and deciding how to react. On board, we use cameras, LiDAR, and radar to see the world. They can see not just where things are, but how fast they're moving. For now, there's a safety driver behind the wheel and a co-pilot for backup. Aurora hopes to remove them by 2023, when it fully launches its trucking business commercially. Like many startups in the space, Aurora is also working on passenger vehicles that can drive themselves in the form of fleets of robo-taxis. But it's big rigs hauling heavy loads of cargo where the company believe autonomous driving technology scales first. If you think about driving down the freeway, it doesn't really matter where you are in the country. The freeway basically looks the same. Whereas if you're driving through a city, it's very different, right? And so to scale a product, you have to scale the technology, advance the technology in a bunch of different ways. Whereas with trucking, we expect to be able to scale the product by operationalizing the business. In Texas, Aurora is running a commercial pilot program with FedEx, carrying real cargo several times a week on a 500 mile round trip between a terminal south of Dallas and Houston. The idea is to prove the business model works, not just the tech. The stretch along the I-45 is one of America's busiest for trucks. We took a ride with Aurora for the first 28 mile stretch. During the trip, we encountered varied traffic, including dozens of large vehicles merging into the lane and also parked cars. The truck drove itself completely autonomously throughout. The safety driver had their hands hovering over the wheel, but did not have to take control at any point. The hope is that this limited pilot will be a key stepping stone for a technology that's tantalizing the parcel industry. Logistics and delivery companies from FedEx to UPS have been grappling with a severe shortage of drivers. We've also seen wages rise that's ultimately weighed on profit. We'll be moving towards a driver as a service business model. We provide the driving technology. Our partners from the manufacturing side, so Packard and Volvo, provide the vehicles. And then the folks who actually have a business that use those trucks to do something provide that business. And together, they, they own and operate those vehicles. Uh, and then they pay us some money to, to drive the truck for them. In December, Uber sold its self-driving unit to Aurora and took a stake in the startup with the hope to one day combine Aurora's autonomous tech with Uber's vast ride-hailing platform. Lots of development work needs to be done to improve the technology, and in the meantime, Aurora's got competition. Publicly traded Too Simple has already run mail delivery pilots with USPS, and UPS took a stake in the company in 2019. There's PLUS, which has already run a trial on a public road in China without a safety driver behind the wheel. The next steps for Aurora are really more commercial pilots in Texas and other states. Ed Ludlow, Bloomberg News in Palmer, Texas.